How's it going everybody? So I've been spending the last couple of weeks trying to figure out how to steam bend wood using a steam box. It's been going just about as well as I expected. Just about every board that I've tried bending is broken in one way or another. Whether it be from the steam not completely penetrating the wood or the knots in the wood or the grain even being in the wrong direction, there are a lot of different reasons why wood may break during bending. So I decided to go through all of the trial and error that I went through to figure out how to do steam bending so hopefully anyone else who's out there who wants to try it won't have to go through so, quite so many boards figuring out how to do it. The first thing I noticed is that if you have anything other than vertical grain lumber, you will end up with breaks. So you'll either need to find something that is already quarter sun or something that at least can be milled into something that has vertical grain. The next thing I noticed is that the steam really has to penetrate the wood for a long time to get the full effect. It's not that the thicker wood is impossible to bend, it's just that the thinner the wood is, the easier it will be to take a bend. I also decided that I wanted to start bending thinner material because I found it a lot easier to actually take a bend. And since I started milling all of my lumber to about a quarter of an inch, I seem to be having the most successes. Most people online will tell you that the rule of thumb is that you're supposed to put your wood in a steam box for about 45 minutes per inch of thickness of material, but I found that to be way too short. Even though I've only been using quarter inch material, I've found that I have to leave it in for at least two hours, sometimes two and a half hours, to get the steam to properly permeate all the way into the wood. And since I've been doing that, I've had much more success. The other thing I started doing was pre-soaking the wood before I put it in the steam box, and that also made a world of difference. The next thing I decided to start using was a steel band. The steel banding I picked up I think is used by roofers as some sort of a flashing. I found it in the roofing section at Menards. If you put the steel band around the back of your board when you do the bending, it keeps the entire board in compression throughout the bend. Anytime you're bending anything, the outside of whatever you're bending is going to be in tension while the inside is going to be in compression. And the steel band ju is just there to ensure that when you do bend it, the entire board stays in compression. A lot of the time when a board breaks, it's because the outside of the board is in so much tension that it literally pulls the fibers apart. So if you keep the board in compression, it keeps it from breaking. It's also important to remember that you only have about 30 seconds to work once you pull your piece out of the steamer. Once your wood cools down, it won't take a bend anymore. I've had a few boards that broke at the end of the bend simply because I wasn't bending it quick enough. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's the one. The next thing I figured out was that there is a massive difference between kiln dried lumber and air dried lumber. When wood is kiln dried, it actually dries out the connection between the fibers of the wood. That makes it nearly impossible for the connection between the fibers to absorb any amount of moisture. If all you have access to is kiln dried lumber, you actually can get that to accept steam if you add something like a fabric conditioner to the water when you soak the wood. The fabric softener will basically do the same thing to the connections between the fibers as it does with clothing. It sort of rejuvenates the fibers so they can better accept the steam. However, the most ideal wood to use would actually be freshly cut green lumber. But if you can't find that, air dried lumber does work. The next thing I figured out to pay attention to was to look at how clear the grains are. If there's any knots in the grain or any kind of undulations in the direction of the grain, then that's exactly where you're going to get a lot of your breaks started at. This was actually the biggest issue that I had in most of my bends. I had a difficult time finding straight, clear grain lumber to work with. But if you can find that, you'd be much better off. Okay, so now it comes time to finally bend the wood. You have the right kind of wood, it's been milled and dried correctly, it's been soaked and then steamed for several hours, and now you only have about 30 seconds to complete your bend. So get everything ready before you start. Then you get your gloves on and start your camera, and then very quickly, open the box, take out the wood, shut the door so it doesn't dry out any of the other pieces, take the end of the board in between two pieces of wood, put the steel band on, pull against the form of the bend, hold the band really tight, and then place clamps everywhere. Hopefully if you did everything right, nothing broke. You'll want to let the board sit for about 10 minutes or so to make sure it's all nice and cool when you pull it off the form. And then when you pull it off of the form, you're going to want to put it in some sort of a brace. Then you can leave the form in the brace for a few days or something. I'm not really sure. I haven't quite figured out how long to leave it in the brace for, but I've left it for a couple of days each time. Just use your best judgment. Thanks for watching this far into the video. If you have any tips or tricks about steam bending, please leave it in the comments. I'm always interested in learning more about this process. If you have made it this far into the video, please consider giving the video a like. It really helps out the channel. And definitely stay tuned. I do have a video in the works of what I'm going to be doing with all this steam bent wood. And hopefully if everything works out correctly, it's going to be a good one. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching.
Catch you all next time.